What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss an upcoming lightweight bout, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Ignacio Bajamondes taking on Christos Giagos this Saturday in the lightweight division in a fight that I think is definitely going to end in a finish, except for, for who, right? You got Ignacio, who's been this highly touted prospect now for quite some time. Burst onto the UFC scene when he's winning his contender series fight via front kick, whooping Edson Gomez. Then he had, I think it was like that knockout of the year. It was like a wheel kick knockout over Roosevelt Roberts where he was dominating that fight. And then in the closing seconds, just threw a spinning wheel kick, wheel kick right on the button, put Roosevelt's lights out, knockout of the year, put him onto this like next prospect status, the next guy to watch thing, followed up with another submission victory over Rong Zhu. Beat Trey Ogden, but then kind of went up against Louvo Klein. And Louvo Klein, he's like that guy who, like the UFC, they put him up against like prospects, and he has a really good habit of making really good fighters look not so good. Like he, he he's he's a troubled guy. He's not very he, he doesn't look really good at anything specific, but he has a really good habit of making a a really good fighter not look so good, making a really troubled fight for a good talented guy like Klein he's just he's just missing something but he's good enough to make pretty much any to give pretty much anybody a, a tough go and he did that with Ignacio and he got the win right and kind of stopped and kind of dwindled the height a little bit of Baja Mondes, right and coming back against a guy like Christos Giagos too it's a tough fight Christos 34 has been in and out of the UFC for quite some time now wins and losses goes for the finish Dangerous as ever. He's fought just about everybody. Charles Oliveira, Jakar Close, Armin Saruki, and Tiago Moises. Most recent fight against Daniel Zellhuber, where, where Daniel just used that just dangerous reach against him. Chris Wade, Josh Emmett, Gilbert Burns. A lot of those are losses that I'm talking about, though, too. So anytime Christos has fought anybody who's ranked or really world 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 class top of the notch of the top of the notch he struggled true gatekeeper of the lightweight division he's you know if you beat christos giagos you definitely are moving on to higher competition and i think that's kind of what they're trying to do with ignacio here because if he doesn't get through christos i think that kind of shows the ceiling of ignacio bahamondas it's a good test christos is tough he struggles with strikers. Keeps himself a little shelled. Yeah. Like, I just I just see Ignacio just, like, picking him apart at distance. As much as I like Christos Giagos, I just see Ignacio being able to just stay on the outside using his kicks, jabs, and just pepper him, stab him, keep him away. Kind of grind out a, a tough three-round war. It's kind of my expectation. So yeah, I got Ignacio probably by decision in this fight. Christos definitely has the ability to make it dirty, get it to the ground, and make it a dirty fight. He's got the dog in him. We've seen it before. But uh, nonetheless, I think Ignacio is going to get it done. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this matchup. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please, guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.